Just yesterday I created this small little notebook out of all the junk I had lying around here. So let's see um, what we can do. Maybe we can do some decorating as well with another pile of small junk I have. I have so much. Look at this. I can't throw anything away and all these small pieces could go very well in such a small notebook as this. So, for the next little notebook I have a pile of vintage paper. I want it to be grungy. Grungy as it can be. So I have some doilies, I have very old papers, envelopes, all kind of scraps and uh, from old music books. Uh, this is a, a back cover from a book. Uh, all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to try and create something with this. We just need a few pages because it's just a small notebook. And for the cover of the next one I thought of this wallpaper. I used a piece of piece on here as well. It's very sturdy, so that would go well for a cover. And as I want it very grungy, I'm just going to tear a piece. And maybe like so. I don't care if the pages stick out. I kind of like that. So this will be my cover. I'm not sure if I'm going to speed this video up. We will see how it all looks in the end when I'm going to edit it. So I have a piece of this. I kind of like the punch holes. I have a paper bag, small one. I hope I am on screen, yes. Um, let me see. I have this. And I could just, speaking of junk, I mean, but I can do, it's going to be a little too wide, I think. This can go in here. So for this little journals, little notebooks, I was very much inspired by the work of Didi Catron. Really love her work. And so... This is very much inspired by her. Let's do this. Thinking of doing something on here. I 
I'm not sure what to do. Could be, could work. Yes, maybe it will. Yes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some stitching on this. So I'm just going to go around this. So I need to go to my sewing machine. I can't show you that, but you all will probably know how that works. So I will be back in a second. Okay, so I've stitched around this. This will be okay, but I forgot. I wanted to include a doily and I forgot. So here is the doily. And let's see how it all will look. So maybe or maybe here. So okay, let's see. So I'm going to fold it all really well. This is it now. This is quite thick, too thick for my showing a sewing machine, I think. So I'm going to just bind it with um, some waxed thread. the black. Yes. And I think just two very simple two holes put a thread and that's it. So a couple of weeks ago my good friend Janine was here and she gave me this. I ordered some more. But she had all kinds of colors. So one, two. Let's find a needle. This will be all right. So in it goes. Very simple. So, okay, this is my little 
junk journal book, notebook. So now I have two. And I have all kinds of stuff to decorate it with. Let's see what we can do. Um, this is from a very old napkin. Tissue paper or napkin. Very old. Love that. I just... So this is a kind of a, a canvas sort of material and I punched some holes out of it. Can, couldn't throw this away so here we go, just glue it on. Like that. Just grab something from that pile of small pieces. Like so. Oh, and I have these stickers maybe I could use. Okay, yes, let's do that. And use this. Okay. What do we have? Oh, I have this very small stuff I like this yes let's put it on there I'm hoping this video will be okay to watch. As I said, I'm I moved house quite about 2 years now and don't have the space for a craft room anymore. It's all so small in here 
so I'm sitting in my living room. with my camera set up the battery ran out also needing a new camera I think this one is very old sometimes it lets me down hmm maybe so i uh, i will wrap this up maybe a few things nope no 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 Oh well, let's do this. Good times. So, you know how to do this um, just want to play some and so share it with you I hope you enjoyed these videos and um, I'm planning on do a lot more I have a an idea for another junk journal a very very vintage junk journal um, uh, so uh, hopefully I will come back soon with that and show you the process. So that's for me uh, today. I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.